order. We will, must now proceed with the remaining business of the day. I, I'm taking no one. Is, is this relevant to the right? Madam Deputy Speaker, we have all heard the Home Secretary accuse honourable members on this side of the parliamentary abuse of filibustering. That is an absolutely outrageous suggestion. I understood, I understood, Madam Deputy Speaker, that decisions on whether or not there has been filibustering are for the chair alone to decide. Can you rule, Madam Deputy Speaker, whether you or any of your predecessors in the chair today heard anything at all which was out of order and could be remotely connected with the abusive term of filibuster? No, I'm not taking any further point of order. Right. I will make sure, if Mr. Speaker himself is not already aware of the disquiet in the House, that he is made aware of the disquiet in the House and the comments that have been made. I must now proceed. I am. I am. Is this a new point of order, Mr. Douglas Hall? It's a new point. It is a new point of order. No, it's a new point of order. The Home Secretary has made it plain, very courteously, that he was going to answer on his statement that he wanted to make in the third reading. Would it be possible to arrange an early statement tomorrow so that he can be questioned as to what he wants to tell us? I will just remind the Right Honourable Member that, of course, it is up to the government to decide whether they wish to make a statement or not. We will now order, order, we will... No, I am taking no more points of order on this matter. We are now proceeding to the adjournment. I have indicated already that I am taking no further points of order on this matter. Right, we now... The question is that this House do now sit in private. As many as are of that opinion say aye. Aye! Of the contrary, no. No!